Let's talk about mindset. Let's talk about belief systems and why that's also important to whether you want to call it greatness or just achieving the success you want in your life. How does your mindset play into that? And who wants to tackle that first? I'll, I'll jump in on this one. So, you know, Erica brought up hope and I was thinking about that a lot because, you know, in order for, in my opinion, in order for one to, at least myself, think about success, think about greatness. You know, the mindset, it starts with having hope, the belief that you can and you will, or, you know, you will achieve this because, you know, when I think about those stats, those numbers, I'm like, okay, yeah, the perspective is he was at bat at least 2000 times because, you know, you add in the number of strikeouts, the number of home runs and like, okay. And then I remember uh, right out of college, one of my one of my mentors, this guy, Robert Lees, Bob Lees, who I just talked to yesterday, we were catching up on stuff. You know, he was one of the first persons that said, he would jokingly say this to lots of people, you know, especially young college graduates about he held the, 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 uh, the, the great title of having the most number of rejection letters from all the different employers. You know, he would jokingly say this to people, you know, as, as a fun thing, but then also he also stated that too, he had the most number of acceptance letters. So, you know, I hear, I hear this duality between individuals who have changed their mindset or keep a mindset of, you know, well, one, I guess I think about is don't take yourself too seriously. You know, don't get, don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, but also, you know, that ability of like, you know, you got to keep trying, like there's no success without failure. And I, and I, I believe that I, I, I believe that in a sense of this is something I want to achieve, but I catch myself, my own internal protest behavior, you know, your, your own little, uh, oh my God, uh, uh, Silencio Bruno. That's what my, my nine-year-old, you know, says, you know, it's the Disney movie, um, Luca, where your internal, you know, uh, commentary is you're not good enough. You're not worthy enough. You don't deserve this. Yeah, I, I think if we consider failure as a challenge rather than just the end or a disappointment as a challenge or like a little uh, rock that we have to hop over or that we have to crush to move past, um, I think it can make it not so impactful on our self-beliefs. If we keep saying, you know, I am great and we keep making steps that are that that's needed to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish, then if we have a little setback or a big setback, it's not going to be so much of a, a blow to us if we just say, okay, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Not, And we shouldn't think of a failure as what other people may coin as a failure as the end because it's not. My immediate thought was, um, now, you know, I'm big on, using different words for different situations. Um, you know, the English language is such a vast language um, with a lot of interchangeable parts. And one of the things that I've been working on is staying away from the word failure, okay? Mm. I would rather use challenges or adversity, things that aren't long. Because for me, failure implies I'm done. I mean, that's, that's what it implies in my mind. I'm not done. I'm just getting started, to be honest with you. So, like I said, I look at every bump in the road, every situation that comes along, uh, and we're obviously talking about bad because good is just good. Uh, but any any bad situation you come off, it's it's just a challenge. You know, we talk when I when I write things when I talk about things, my daily challenges. So, in other words, in in my mind, what that emotes is that it's just a challenge, and I can get past it. And and it, I think if I think if I think adversity builds character, and if you've never had any adversity in your life, you are missing out on some of the best parts of life that that, that uh, what life has to offer you. If you can't lean into your adversity, and and know that there is, there's always the other side. You know, that's one thing I had to make. I, I don't know if I made peace with it, but over the last few years, with everything that I've gone through, like I said, I mentioned earlier, I've I've been in a dark place for a bit. I, what I'll we'll just use two years. But the thing that I kept gravitating to from a mindset was 
I've been in a lot of adverse situations over the course of my life, starting as a child. And I always got past it. I don't, I don't, I didn't always know how I was going to get past it, but for whatever reason, I got past it, you know, grace of God, um, just the way I'm, you know, the way I've been put together and the way I'm wired, the way I look at things, the way I think the whole nine yards. But for me, I am at that, I'm definitely at that age now where it's, it's almost a default mechanism. When I run into some adversity, I, my, I, once I kind of get out, because you get in that, you're in that moment, right? Where you're kind of like, oh shit, it's going sideways on me, right? And then you calm down, take a deep breath, but it always rectifies itself. As long as I put in the time, the effort and the energy. And sometimes that means I need help. You know, I need it. You know, I need to lean on the, my support system to get by. As long as you don't forget those steps, forget the things that you you've typically, you know, you have to go back to, well, I was in trouble five years ago. Or I was in trouble 10 years ago. And this is how we got out of it. And you have to be able to, you know, you definitely can't have a short memory. You can have a short memory from the standpoint that you keep it moving. But the idea that you, you know, like I said, the higher power, whatever you want to call it. I've always come out on the other side. And until I don't come out on the other side, my belief system says I'm coming out on the other side. And probably I'm going to come out better than I, than I went in. I, I like what you said, adversity builds character. And I'm like, that sounds like such a good tagline when I Googled it. And uh, it's interesting. There's, there's that. And then there's adversity does not build character. It reveals it. I was like, well, that's kind of cool. And then to build off of your other piece of it, right? It's like, be grateful for adversity for it forces the human spirit to grow for surely the human character is not formed is formed not in the absence of difficulty but in our response to difficulty so yeah that's good i like that <laughs>